أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةِ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Allahumma ja'alna min ash-shakirin. Assalamu alaykum, Qur'an Weekly. In ayah number 185, we're now in the second juz, day two of Ramadan. I wanted to take one piece of this long ayah, this beautiful ayah about Ramadan, that I've talked about extensively on other occasions, but just highlight one thing. Towards the end of the ayah, Allah says, why did I give you these 30 days? And what is what are some of your goals and objectives? He says, وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةِ So you complete the count. So this count is important. Like it has something to do with your, your relationship with Allah as a slave and your spiritual development. Finish the count. It's a target. It's a program. And that program to be successful for you, you need to finish this count. So take the fasting every day seriously, right? But then he says, وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ So that you declare Allah's greatness based on how He guided you. عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ Which is interpreted literally as, you know when Eid, we're going, we're declaring Allah's greatness, because as we're going to the Eid prayer, what, what is everybody saying? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We're declaring Allah's greatness as we're going, right? But what's really awesome about this is, it's not limited to the act of Eid, when we, we excel and we do a lot of takbir, we say Allah, a lot of Allahu Akbar. Rather, it's actually also something very powerful, that you maintain the, the recognition that Allah is greater, and the priority of, Allah is a greater priority than all the other sins and all the other disobedience you're up to, now that this count of days is over. 30 days is enough for you to establish a habit of obeying Allah, and being conscious of Him, and watching your eyes, and keeping control of your tongue, and all of these things. And if you can even stay away from halal things for 30 days, then staying away from haram things which should be a lot easier for you once these 30 days are over. So at the end of the ayah of Ramadan, He says, so you can truly declare my greatness, now that this month is done, based on how I've guided you. وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ So you could declare Allah's greatness based on how He guided you. So this is, this is really the Jew, the fruit of Ramadan is going to be, you know how Allah becomes a big priority in Ramadan? The, one of its purposes is, He remains a priority after Ramadan. Look, it's inside the ayah also. You, how many khutbahs you hear about how, you know, Ramadan's over, but don't forget Allah. Allah Himself said it. Allah Himself said that. وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ And so that you could be grateful. You should be grateful you get to make Allah a bigger priority in your life than your own, your own personal whims, your own personal desires, your own temptations. Right? You, get, you, are, you should be grateful that so much of humanity doesn't have this honor and you do. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us of the grateful and may Allah make us of those that when these beautiful 30 days are over, that we truly declare Allah greater in everything that we do and we lower ourselves and humble ourselves before His commandments and, before, you know, and make Him the priority in our life. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum Quran Weekly.